Looking at those numbers, we know this weekend temperatures in the area are expected to be dangerously cold, which for those with no place to go could mean life or death. Absolutely. New sends uh, Connell Smith joining us live in the studio. And Connell, I know local police really on the lookout right now for people who might be out stuck in this cold. John and Lydia, like Tim mentioned, with temperatures expected to dip below zero tonight and wind chills making it feel like it's in the negative 20s, the Schenectady Police Department say they're ramping up their effort to get people out of the cold and into someplace warm. And if you have to go outside for any reason at all this weekend, there are a few measures you can take before braving the elements. We definitely have stepped it up. My, again, my partner and I have gone out to make sure that we check on areas that we know people generally stay in to, to see if we can make contact with them. Luckily, we weren't able to find several people, which is good. That's good. We hope that they were able to find some more comfortable shelter. When a code blue alert is issued, local police departments step up their patrols to look for people who could use any type of shelter. If we do find someone, we have a, a network of agencies here in the city that we're able to get them in touch with and get them a warm bed for the night. On Friday, the Homeless and Travelers Aid Society called a code blue extreme alert from tonight through the 18th. An extreme code blue alert is called when temperatures drop below 10 degrees. Governor Hochul on Friday directed state agencies to prepare emergency assets in response to the impending extreme weather, saying, quote, temperatures and wind chill values like these can be both dangerous and damaging, so limit your exposure and layer up if you must venture outside. If you do have to travel, AAA Northway says there are a few items to keep in your car in case you end up in an emergency situation, especially with snow. Whether it's a short or a long trip and the items that you want to have in your vehicle, um, blankets, uh, extra hat and gloves, things that are going to keep you warm in the event of an emergency situation, um, extra water, uh, snacks, maybe protein bars, you know, food that's going to get you by if you're going to be stranded for a long while. Again, if you do have to travel, AAA recommends you keep at least a half tank of fuel in your car to prevent condensation from building up and freezing. Now, as far as clothing, you want to wear moisture wicking material like nylon or polyester. And as the old hiking saying goes, cotton kills as cotton materials hold in moisture and can lead to hyperthermia. In studio, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC.